hi there and welcome to today's class for this class we continue uh, we continue the study of what's it called trigonometry right so we have done um, a playlist under the study of this course so i've done three videos for the study of trigonometry for from crash right so for this class we'll try to continue from what we stopped in our last class last class on trigonometry we talked about the concept of fundamental trigonometry identity last class so for this class we're looking at how to apply those concepts we have learned from the beginning of trigonometry to where we are now so look at how to apply those concepts in the solving of this problem here as you can see aside this class I want, I'm going to do some classes whereby we're proving, we're proving some trigonometric identities, right? So we're proving that left hand side is equal to right hand side in our next class. So let's um, try to solve this problem here and let's apply all the concepts we have learned so far into this concept. To check out our videos on trigonometry, I'll drop the link in the description of this video. So try to watch or perhaps try to check the description of this video. You see our link to our first class third class and second sorry first second third and fourth class um, of trigonometry let's solve this problem here the reason says if tan theta is equal to t over four find number one sec theta cos uh, sorry sec theta cos theta and sine theta so how do you get this done how do you solve this problem so i can solve this problem in two ways either i use the concept of pythagoras theorem or perhaps i use the concept of what um trigonometry identity as you can see so i'll be showing you the steps um to apply Pythagoras theorem and also the steps to apply what's it called trigonometry identity this calculator is it with you very important no, i'm waiting for you so let's start with um this solution let's start the first one let's apply the concept of Pythagoras theorem to solve this man and let's see what we get so first is first solution solution we said we can solve this question using two conditions we said using Pythagoras theorem and also using what the geometric identity let's start with using um what's it called Pythagoras what's it called there theorem right now when it comes to using Pythagoras theorem what we know from the idea of Pythagoras theorem is that it works until it works with the right angle triangle right so using Pythagoras theorem what do we get we're given that tan theta i'm given that tan theta is what three over four true or false true but before now from the concept of soka to what we have learned in our last class we said so sorry so ka and what the twa we said for tan theta that becomes what the opposite of what the adjacent so i know that tan theta i know that tan theta is what the opposite over what the adjacent right so it means that my opposite becomes what the opposite what is three what's my adjacent that's four that's the meaning place it means that my opposite is what the three my is what is four so it means that let's say i have a right angle triangle now because of the theorem so there's no how we discuss Pythagoras theorem that we will discover what a right angle triangle. So let's say I have a right angle triangle as in this case. Observe, please. We know that. Look up, please. Look up, please. Let's say my angle theta is here, right? This becomes my opposite. Abi, what's the opposite here? That's three. So I have three here. What's my adjacent? This one here, Abi. That becomes four. We don't know this part, Abi. Let's call this part. Let's call it A. It's unknown, right? So let's try to get A. How do I get A? I'll use what the Pythagoras theorem. That's so that becomes from here. I'll have that A squared is equal to what? 3 squared plus what the 4 squared. What do I get? I have A squared is equal to what? 9 plus 16. Add them up. A squared is what? 25. I will take the square comes in because of the A square root. So I'll have that. Therefore, A is equal to what? Root 25 which is what which is five so it means that a now is five so i'll have a as five so for this triangle now for this right angle triangle i i know the hypotenuse as five the i as, 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 as what four and the opposite as what as three let's now look for all this parameter here so the first question says look for what sec theta all 
right, let's find sec theta from there. So number one there, I sec theta. What we know for now, that's why um the reason why I have take my time to make some videos. Try to watch our uh, first class, second class, third class because I make sure that the video are broke, broken down. So what you need to know before the order, I say, I take my time to do that. So by now, you should, you should, know, you should know the mathematical expression for sex theta. So what's sex theta? Sex theta is equal to what? One over what there? Over cos theta. That's what we said in last class, that sex theta is what? One over what there? Over cos theta. So the idea is that for me to find sex theta that I'm looking for, I need to know what? I need to what there? I need to know what? Cos theta right yeah. so now what's the idea now um let me not consider and let's solve but but cos theta is equal to what cos theta is equal to what we said by using what so ka, to our concept so but cos theta is what cos is what i asked over what over what the hypotenuse check your diagram please What's my adjacent here? Four. That's four. All over. What's the hypotenuse? That's five. So it means that cos theta is equal to what? Four over five. I will put this value. Look up. Put this value back here to get sec theta. So it means that sec theta is equal to one over. Cos theta is what there? Four over five. Break it this one down. I'll have that one. This one divided by what? 4 over 5. From here, still break it down. I'll have 1 times what? 5 over 4. Apply reciprocal concept. From here, sec theta is what there? 5 over 4. So I have this as my answer for sec theta. Let's get cos theta. Per se, I don't need to start for cos theta because cos theta now is what? 4 over 5. Straightforward. So for ii, cos theta is what there 4 over 5 from here 4 over 5 this becomes my answer for cos theta let's get ii for ii sin theta so iii that's number three i have what there sin theta what's sin theta oh you know so i have opposite of hypotenuse so opposite over hypotenuse what's the opposite there that's three all over hypotenuse there five. that's five so it becomes my answer after solving this question using the idea of Pythagoras theorem by the way Pythagoras theorem is a lengthy process to solve this problem but by the way i have to show you how to, how it works so but the shorter uh, method to solve this problem is using what trigonometry identity so let's solve this one now let's now solve this same problem using trigonometric identity and let's see if our answer will be what will be the same as using Pythagoras theorem welcome back let's try to solve the same question here using trigonometric identity what do we get um using the identity um before i dive into this concept there are about three formulas i gave you last class under trigonometric identity which are very very important and fundamental so i'll be giving you now again so for trigonometric identity i gave you three mathematical expression and i derived it for you in our last class so if you're interested in watching our video on how i derived the three formulas for uh what's it called for trigonometric identity you can click on the link above you here i'll drop a link above us here so you can check the click on the link it will take you to the video on how i derived these three formulas what are the formula the first one is what that is what is cos square theta plus sine square theta equal to one that's the first one the second concept there is that one plus tan square theta is what the word there sec square theta next up you can see that all what i've done in the last class the three videos we have done you can see it's application now so that you have to know master those concepts watch those videos very well so you can understand um how to apply it in this sense the third one becomes one plus cot square theta is what there i'll have co sec squared theta these are the three mathematical expression for trigonometry identity so i'll now apply this one here now to solve problem of this nature 
So let's get it done, please. Solution, please. All right. Uh, when it comes to so in the question, I'm giving that tan theta. Look up. Tan theta is what there? Tan theta is what? Three over four. So I'm looking for what? What's my one, please? I'm looking for what? Sec theta, I'm looking for sec theta. So sec theta is unknown. Now, from this four mathematical expression, how can I get sec theta? Look up, please. Sec theta occur in what? In this place here, Abby? So I'll go and recall this one back. Why? Because I'm looking for cos theta, sec theta per se. And sec theta exists in what? In this one alone. Pick out this one down. Recall, recall that we said that, what's there? Yeah, Abby? Yeah. One plus tan square theta equal to what? Sec square theta. Your ability to use this um, method is that, can you remember this formula? That's it. And it is the shortest, shortest cut to solve um, this problem. So, from here now, what do we get? So, I'm looking for what? Sec theta. But I'm given what? Tan theta. So, I can put the value here to get sec theta. So, what do I get? I'll have that 1 plus what's tan theta alone. That's 3 over 4 all squared. Right? This square comes here. Tan theta itself is 3 over 4. It's equal to what? Sec square theta. From here, 1 plus 9 over 16 indices. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. Is equal to what there? Sec squared theta. Fraction here, yeah? I'll have 16 plus 9 over 16. If I okay, take LCM here, yeah? my LCM there is 16. 16 in invisible 1 here. Yeah? So I'll have an invisible 1 here yeah? over 1. So 16 in 1 is 16 times 1 is what there? 16 plus 16 in 16 is 1 times 9 I have 9 equal to what there? sec sec squared theta don't forget what what if what? sec theta not sec squared theta from here add them what will I get there? 25 over what there? 16 equal to what? sec squared theta this can be written as sec squared theta equal to what? 25 over 16 the same thing just placing one before the other from here now this square comes and becomes what a square root so i'll have that sec theta equal to what the square root of what 25 over what there over 16. from here root of 5 is what that's 5 over root 16 is what that's 4. please help me check when we use our what's it called our particular theorem to look for sec theta what's our answer is the answer comparable please yes so when we use um pedagogy theorem we had Five over four. Also, when we use um to identity, identity, we see have what the five over four. So I have this one here. That's the first one. Number two there is cos theta. Number two is what? Find cos theta is unknown. How do you solve this? Observe that for cos theta, cos theta only exists in what? In what? In this one here. So for me to find cos theta, I need to know what sin theta. But for what I'm so what I know now, I know two things now. I know tan theta as three over four, and I know what the sec theta as what five over four. But I don't know sin theta, so I can't use this one. So what's going the idea? The, 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 the idea is that I can derive cos theta from cos sec theta. Now recall that recall that we said sec theta is what one over cos theta. From here. We, we we already know that sec, all sec theta now that's five, five over, over four. four so that becomes One. hang on so from there proceeding from there watch the video on your phone so sec theta now what sec theta from here now it's 5 over 4, 5 over 4 has been equal to 1 over cos theta, 1 over what there? Cos theta. So I'm looking for cos theta, B. Cos yeah. multiply, I'll have that. This time, this is what? 5 cos theta being equal to what? 4 times 1. Okay. 4 times 1, right? From here, what do I get? Divided by what? By 5, by 5. This cancel this, I'll have that. Cos theta equal to what? 4 over 5. Please let me check our cos theta when we used 
um last theorem and compare when you use to what you have there the same thing abi so let's get the last one done let's get the last one number three what's number three there so sine theta so it means that i cannot use the first identity i gave you which i can see sine and cos i have i don't value for cos now and sine so recall that recall that from there i recall that so recall that cos square theta plus sine square theta equal to what one right so i know cos theta as this one now so i can look for what sine theta from here what's cos theta alone cos theta alone is what four over five that's four over five into what the all squared plus sine square theta equal to one <laughs> all right for me now what do you get apply indices here i'll have what there 16 over 25 plus what there sine square theta equal to one what do you get from here mathematically From here, if I proceed from here, what do I get? For me now, I'm having that. Look up, please. I can take this sign. All right. From here, what do I get? I'll have 16 over 25. Next up, plus sign square theta. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go to one. So what do we do here at this point? That is quite simple. I'll take this man here to the other side, right? So take this one here. I'll have the ability what sine square theta so i have that sine square theta equal to 1 minus 16 over 25 take this man here becomes a negative sign so i have this one here so what do we get from here i'll have that sine square theta equal to 1 sorry lcm please so i have my lcm what 25 year in year is 25 right 25 minus 16 so from here sine square theta is what this is nine abi nine over what there 25 take the square here becomes the square root i'll have sine theta the square root of what there nine over 25. final answer please sine theta equal to square root of nine is what three over five please let me check when we use um use Pythagoras theorem we had Three over five. Also, when we use what to make identity, we had three. Over, is that correct? Yes. So this is how to solve this problem here. So see you in our next class. Next class, we'll solve a problem such as this again, right? So see you in our next class. If you're not subscribed to my channel, do it to subscribe, hit the like button, and um, share to your friends and classmates so they can learn too. See you in our next class. Thanks.